Hi, God bless you. Jesus loves you. You have been chosen to be free and who the Son sets free is free indeed. You are chosen and not forsaken. You are so precious in our Father's eyes and God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth. He formed you, he created you, he knitted you together in utter seclusion. He knew you before you were born. He brought you forth on the day you were born. He planned for the time, the moment and the place for you to be born. Every day of your life has been written in his book. Every moment laid out before a single day had passed. The Lord's plans for your life are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. And we know that God works in all things for good, for those that love God and those that live according to his purpose for them. And Father, now I just pray for those that you will bring on to this message. Father, for it is written in Matthew 7, 7, asking you will receive. So Father, I ask in the name of Jesus for you to lift the veil and for the scales to fall from the eyes of your beloved children if you haven't already done this, Father. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. May you pour out your Holy Spirit upon all flesh, all the men and women, your precious children, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that you have led and that you will lead to listen to this message about the locusts this potentially life-changing message, this message that can change how my brothers and sisters live their life. Father, I just ask you to have your way in this place. All glory, praise and honour to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. The locusts. The locusts in your life. During your life, childhood, your adult years, and in particular in these last two years, the locusts will have been coming against you and upon you affecting your life. The locusts. Joel 1, verse 4. After the cutting locusts finished eating the crops, the swarming locusts took what was left. After them came the hopping locusts, and then the stripping locusts too. I'm sure you've found yourself at some point for those who are born again followers of Jesus. I'm very sure that you have found yourself getting angry and frustrated at the enemy, at our adversary. I'm sure you've found yourself In a, in a battle with the enemy. And maybe at different times in your walk, you didn't realise that the battle belongs to the Lord. But like myself, I have. I have got angry at the enemy. The locusts, the locusts that have taken things that have come and devoured and cut away and swarmed over me and hopped and stripped. The locusts, if you think about the trials and tribulations that you've been through, if you think about the maybe relationships that have broken down, maybe your finances have been stripped in this last two years. Well, receiving this message with an open heart and an open mind, 
This is the word of God. God never lies. And darkness and the light are the same to God. Where we can live and sometimes be consumed by darkness, by evil, by by schemes and devices of the enemy. And therefore we can focus our time and attention, our energy, our focus on the enemy because of what's been going on in our life, because of the attacks coming in our life that's been upon our life. We can, we can blame it on the enemy and we can get angry and frustrated at the enemy. But the locusts that have been swarming around and affecting your life, stripping you back, particularly in these last two years, stripping things away from you, the pain, the turmoil, the agony, the tears that you would have very likely shed in these last two years. the great destroying army that has come against you in the past weeks, months and years. It was the Lord, our God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the author and finisher of your faith. It, it was the Lord that sent this great army of locusts into your life. Why? Because through every single trial and tribulation that you have ever been through, through every single dark valley, through every fiery furnace that you've been in, through the storms that you have been in, the Lord, your God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, he is for you, not against you, and he has carried you through. He has carried you in his arms. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He has plans for your life and they are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. Through the fires, the trials, the tribulations that you have been through, through the locusts that have been coming and stripping things away from you, what the Lord our God has been doing, he has been refining you down to such a place where your faith, and your trust is in God and in God alone. You have been refined seven times over. And in Joel 2, just reflecting on what the locusts have come and stripped away from you. But knowing that the Lord has sent those locusts into your life for a divine reason, because in Joel 2, verse 25, the Lord says, I will give you back what you lost to the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts and the cutting locusts. It was I who sent this great destroying army against you. The locusts that have been in your life, the Lord sent them. Because what he has been doing in your life, he has been stripping you back. He has been stripping away your feelings, thoughts, pains, emotions from the past. He has been stripping away from you relationships that are currently not serving you and not helping you fulfill your calling, your divine calling from God. Even the family relationship breaks down, breakdowns. The Lord has sent this against you. Why? Because he's been refining you by fire. He's been creating in you your new wineskins because your old wineskins, your old self, your old habits, behaviours, thoughts, feelings, emotions, your anger, rage, bitterness, unforgiveness, guilt, shame, condemnation, your old self, your old wineskins, the Lord can't pour in new wine. 
into your old self, your old wineskins, because your old self, your old wineskins would burst under the pressure, spilling the new wine and ruining you, the wineskins, the old wineskins. Instead, through the refinest fire, through the locusts coming and stripping you back, stripping things away from you, stripping relationships from you, stripping down your finances, humbling you, taking you through the refiner's fire. The Lord has been creating in you new wineskins so he can pour out new wine into your new wineskins. You can truly begin to experience his glory, his love, his joy, his peace, his miracles, signs, wonders. You can truly begin operating with the gifts of the Spirit. You can truly begin living in awe and wonder at what the Lord is doing in your life. Because I declare and decree, the Lord our God, he is only just getting started in your life. And as the Lord is taking you higher and higher, as the Lord is pouring out in you more of his spirit, more wisdom, more discernment, as you are drawing closer and closer to Jesus, as the Lord is beginning to ret return to you, what the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts and the cutting locusts took away from you, as the Lord is beginning to leave you in awe and wonder, as the Lord is beginning to lead you onto your knees to praise and worship him with tears running down your face because God has just moved in an incredible way. As the Lord is taking you higher in a deeper relationship with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, he is going to be using you mightily to be the one to pray and to intercede for those people, your loved ones, your family members, your friends. The Lord is going to be using you to pray and intercede for them and to pray them into the kingdom because you will be walking with more authority in the spirit realm than you have ever had before. And you can pray for anything. Matthew 21, 22, you can pray for anything. And if you have faith, you will receive it. So, no matter how painful your life experiences have been, no matter how painful this last two years have been, no matter how painful maybe this last two or three months have been, through your pain, the Lord is perfecting you. He takes your mess and turns it into a message. Sometimes the Lord allows us to hit rock bottom for us to realise that he is the rock at the bottom. God uses broken people like you and me to rescue broken people like you and me. May for the rest of your life, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for those listening under the sound of my voice, for the rest of their life, may they no longer give any credence in any way to the enemy. Father, may they know that whatever trials and tribulations come along in their life, no, may they know truly that the testing of their faith produces perseverance. So may they take joy in trials and tribulations, Father, because you are allowing it to happen and you won't allow me or my brothers and sisters to go through anything that we will not come through. So we thank you and praise you, Father, for sending us through the refiner's fire. Thank you for refining us seven times over. Thank you, Father, for sending the locusts into our life because in your perfect time, you are going to return to us what the locusts stole from us. So we just give you all the glory, praise and honour, Father, because your word tells us that to you, the darkness and light are the same. So, Father, may we all live each day in joy, in awe and wonder, praising you and worshipping you in spirit and in truth, Father. May we truly understand and comprehend that you work in all things in our life for good because we love you and because you, we live according to your purpose for us. I thank you and I praise you, Father, for this word. May this word resonate with many, many, many of your beloved sons and daughters and may it change them positively for the rest of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. God bless you and protect you. May the grace and peace of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, be upon you now and upon you each and every day. Agape, Paul.